Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo. And today we're gonna to talk about the hidden application menu. Now it's a menu that gives you a bunch of different tools per application that you have opened. So for example, we just opened up uh, Disney Plus, but if you go inside of your recent applications, this is the screen that you see. Now let's say that you have a different launcher, maybe you're using Goodlock, or maybe you're just using the stock, you know, recent menu screen, no matter what you're viewing, if it's looking like this or like this, when you look at the icon and you tap on the application itself and it pulls up this screen. Now yours will more than likely look like this over here where it pops up in the center. This is using Android 9. This over here is using Android 10, which is the new beta, you know, 2.0 with Android 10. So we're just gonna look at this phone. Your phone will do the exact same thing. All of these will pop up again, the exact same thing. Uh, but inside of this little menu, it gives you a bunch of different tools. So I was asked a couple questions about this recently. And so I wanted to shoot a video. Now really the bread and butter of all the tools of this hidden menu is lock this app and pin this app. What lock this app does is it's a way that you're able to lock the application so this way it does not turn off or close when you hit on the close all. So let's say that you always watch YouTube, maybe you always have to go into a conversation or whatever the case, whatever application you always go into, even if it feels like you just closed every application and then you reopen it back up a minute later and then you closed all of them again and then you reopen it back up, this is where you can lock it. Also too, let's say that you're watching a video. So I'm watching my own video just for the sake of this. Uh, and so as you're watching this video, let's say that you hit on pause real quick, you go inside of your applications, you can see this little lock icon, it means that that one is locked. Now I have other applications that are opened. If I hit, if I hit on close all, and I go right back up into my recent applications, you can see that that application is still there. All the rest are shut off and it's still right at the video that I was just at. Uh, and so it's really cool that you're able to lock it down. Uh, it's just one of the ways that you're able to keep an application if you always use it. Now, if you want to unlock it, you can simply just tap on the lock icon. Now heading over into this one right here, which is pin this app. So this one will definitely help out if you have any kids uh, and you don't want them to go through your phone. Uh, so how you're able to turn on or off pin windows uh, is that you wanna swipe up and hold. So this one has changed. Uh, my guess is that if, because I am using gestures, that's the way to get out of it. If I actually have the navigation buttons on the bottom of left or back home and recents, it'll probably be a little bit different. But again, we're watching YouTube, we're checking out this dude, he's super cool, uh, he knows what he's talking about. Uh, you know, I can run through, I can do anything and everything I want to on YouTube, but when I try to head back home, um, I'm not able to get out of it. I have to unpin the application first. Even if I was to hit on the power uh, and I re reopen it right back up, it's still there. I don't have to type in the little pin there, um, but it's just, it's stuck. You can't get out of it. There's no way that you can get out of this one. Even when I hit on the back button, uh, this is back. I'm using the back icon, the back gesture with Android 10, and I cannot get out of this uh, because it is locked. So if you have a kid, you don't want them to go through your phone, this is the best way to do it. Now to get out of it with mine anyways, is I would have to do the whole swipe up and hold. Now, if you have the icons, more than likely you have to press and hold on a couple of them to have it unlocked. But you can see there that once I got out of the application, you have to put your credentials back into the phone to use your phone again. So the first one that you'll see here is the app information. This is just gonna give you all the information about the application, uh, your notifications if they're turned on, the permissions it has, uh, things like that. Also, you can clear the data, clear the storage, and anything else. So let's just go right back on the inside. Let's head over into that exact same application. This is where you can open it up in split screen view. Now, I do wanna mention if you're doing this to a application and you see less options, that just means that that application is not made to do split screen or not made to do pop-up or change aspect ratio, things like that. Uh, not every single application will have all of these. Now this is where you go into your split view. So if I wanna go inside of my messaging application, if I wanna look at some photos, uh, let's say well, I wanna to go to my uh, settings over here. So here's Disney. This is two different applications that you probably wouldn't open up. Uh, uh, I don't know, maybe you would. Maybe you'd be listening to music on your phone uh, and then Disney Plus is playing on your TV if you're, if you're casting it. Uh, it's just kind of a way that you're able to do uh, two applications at once. Now this little blue line in the center, this allows you to bring it up and bring it smaller or larger now it's pretty hard for my finger to kind of get on that small little blue line uh, and it could be because of 
this new beta update that I have. It's not 100% fluid and finished. Uh, you can see that I did move it there, but whatever this update does come off and it's the, the full-fledged application, it'll work much better on this one. Uh, but yeah, that, that blue line just allows you to kind of change how big or small you want the application to be. Uh, pop-up view, it's just a way that you're able to make it a little bit smaller, make it pop up, kind of uh, looking like different windows. Uh, so there is YouTube. Let's say that we want to open up uh, let's go right back over into messages. So here is messages. Uh, and so if I wanted this one to also be popped up, I can just do pop-up view. And then I got this one now popped up view. So this is where you can have multiple uh, windows working at the same time. You can make them bigger, you can make them smaller, uh, really position them anywhere and everywhere that you want. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of uh, a quick way that you can also do uh, your little pop-up window. And another way is that if you turn it on, you'd have to swipe up from the corner. Uh, I just don't have that turned on. I have it turned on through this little tool set here that's built inside of the application icon. Now the next one is changing the app aspect ratio. This one won't make a lot of difference for a majority of the applications. Most of them are already full screen or they're auto and they work the best. So I don't really play too much with the app aspect ratio. I just kind of leave it the way it is. Through my settings, all of it is set to auto. But if you need to change it and force it, this is where you can change the app aspect ratio. Uh, but really, this was kind of just showing you the hidden little menu. Some of you knew about it, some of you didn't. Maybe you did know about it, but you didn't know exactly what these meant or what they were used for. Again, really everything that's most important, I would say, is the bottom two. Locking the application so it doesn't always close every time you hit on close all. And then pinning the application, it's a really good child-proof situation where people, if they can't read the screen, uh, they're not able to get out of the application. If they do get out of the application, then they have to put in your credentials to do anything else. So it's really cool. Uh, everything else on the top, I don't really use as much, but the bottom two I use all the time. But I hope you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit on subscribe. Subscribe right over here on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you liked this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later. Oh,